I am throwing down the gauntlet. I am drawing a line in the sand. I am blowing the horns. I am going to war with After Effects. Kind of. Let me explain. Uh, and I'm going to start explaining it by saying I still really like After Effects. I've got my uh, student license of CS 5.5 here, and uh, while this was a wild investment when I bought it back in high school, I look back so fondly on that first period of diving into After Effects, you know, watching hours and hours of Video Copilot tutorials. Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here, videocopilot.net. And a lot of what was exciting back then is still exciting. You can do lots of really, really cool stuff in After Effects. And when After Effects was a little fresher on the scene, um, a lot of the stuff you could do weren't just things that were more expensive or harder to do elsewhere. There were things that uh, maybe you just couldn't do at all before After Effects, at least on a home computer. So I got into it. It was very exciting. Um, I was in After Effects for about 10 years, but during those 10 years, um, some things started to change. Long story short, a few years ago, I moved from editing uh, normal videos in Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve. So they also had this little fusion page. Um, and since ab about that time, I, I pretty much haven't touched After Effects. And of course, big title thing here, uh, DaVinci Resolve is free. As amazing as Adobe software and even Creative Cloud was um, as a move towards accessibility, uh, you can't really beat free. But even though Fusion as a program has been around for a while, it still feels like the new kid on the block in terms of, you know, like uh, a vast user base and really uh, diving into the tools for a more uh, approachable or consumer level. I've tried to do my part and a lot of what I have done is just looking at what is available for After Effects and just trying to make that in Resolve and Fusion. My most popular free plugin for Resolve Proto um, is uh, openly and blatantly and pretty proudly a ripoff of the Sabre plugin for After Effects. But I thought it was time to slightly shift that equation of just looking at resources for After Effects and seeing how I could make them in Resolve and Fusion and turn that into a formal challenge. Here's what I want to do. You watching this video right now, if you have made something in After Effects that you like and you are curious about whether that can be made in the Fusion page, I want you to let me know. Obviously, there are pretty amazing like artistic works and stuff that have been done in After Effects that like I can't handle on an artistic level, uh, but one, that's why this challenge has a few uh, uh, parameters. The first is that one, uh, I want to look at recreating effects that you have actually made. Maybe you're a lifetime After Effects pro and this is a horrible, horrible idea, but I think at a more approachable level, the kind of, uh, you know, basic motion graphics or even visual effects that most people start doing once they dip their toes and even get pretty comfortable in After Effects, those are the projects I want to look at and, you know, have a hand at recreating and then turning those um, into, you know, content for this channel. And I think this could be a pretty enlightening uh, experience for everyone. You always learn a lot when you try to recreate an effect. And I think there are a lot of people who are, you know, comfortable in After Effects, uh, but would need a little bit more coaxing to jump over to Fusion. So I'm, I'm here. I'm here, I'm here to coax. <laughs> so if you have something you have made in After Effects and you would like to know how I would recreate that project in DaVinci Resolve, you've got a few options. Number one, uh, leave a comment, drop a link in there. Um, comments don't do great with links. I'll have to like uh, approve them to I think have them pop up and keep showing. Uh, or you can email me, uh, that email is in uh, my uh, channel info. You can click over to that. I would love if the response was enough to you know come back and do like a, a big reveal video talking about um, the process and walking through a few specific examples and then maybe, you know, spin that off into a little bit more of an ongoing thing like, hey, uh, this is a project from After Effects. This is how you can do it for free and resolve. Is this uh, a really good idea? I think so. Let me know. <laughs> it still feels like DaVinci Resolve uh, at all is pretty underrated. I know it has its fair amount of fanboys myself uh, among them. But even with that, I feel like the Fusion page, everyone is sleeping on the Fusion page. It's very cool. Of course, if you want to learn more about Fusion and check out all of my free and paid uh, plugins and presets, all of that, oh, those are on the channel over on the site as well. Drop those links below if you would like me to check those out or email to me. Uh, send, find me on Twitter, maybe do that as well. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.